Hello, I'm Denise Escondia and this is ABB Robotics at Automatica 2023. It's a big day for us all at ABB as we prepare for the largest robot launch event of the year. Now, for those of you watching live on LinkedIn, remember to leave your questions in the chat box below for our experts to answer. But before we meet our guests, let's take a closer look at the new products that we'll be discussing today. delighted to say that I'm joined by ABB's Chief Engineer and Senior Project Manager, Matthias Lovemark. Matthias, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, Denisa. Thanks for having me. So I have a few questions for you, Matthias. Right. Um, I know ABB are in constant communication with their customers. Uh, so what are the main messages that you've been hearing? Well, firstly, let me start saying how Thrilled I'm um, to be here today and making this very special announcement on behalf of ABB Robotics. So, having spoken to customers at some of the world's largest industries, the one thing I picked up is that they are really looking for increasing their resilience in the factories, specifically improving the flexibility, the robustness, and the sustainability. And it's really our aim at uh, ABB to help those customers on that really important journey. Well, with that in mind, uh, I know that you have some exciting announcements to make. What's in store for ABB Robotics? Well, this week, I'm proud to say we are announcing the launch of four new product lines of large ABB robots. And this sums up to a total of 22 different robot variants. I know people who are watching will also be keen to hear more of what to expect in terms of modularity. Yes, so these four new product lines and the 22 robot variants, they're all based on the same modular platform. And this goes back with our previous launch of the IRB 5710 and 5720, sharing the same technology for motors, gearboxes, cabling and electronics. What can customers expect in terms of different specifications across the whole range? Yeah, well, we have increased the specification in payload capacity and robot mm. reach for almost all of these variants. But uh, what I'm really excited about is what we are bringing in, the IRB 6730 with payloads up to 270 kilo. And this really makes our portfolio complete. We have a payload capacity from 150 kilo up to 310 kilo. We have robot reaches from 2.5 meters all the way up to 3.2 meters. So how would you say that this wide range can support the EV uh, car production? Well, we can support the car manufacturing uh, in producing batteries for EVs in various sizes mm -hmm. from uh, individual cells and modules all the way up to complete battery packages. We can uh, also support with high precision car body assembly using various different joint technologies like uh, spot welding, laser welding, riveting, screwing, uh, bonding and dispensing. So how do you foresee these robots supporting customer needs? Well, together with the best in-class uh, motion control we get from our new Omnicore controller, supported by true move for high accuracy and quick move for high speeds, I would say we are providing industry-leading performance in these new robots. Just to give you some examples, uh, post repeatability down to three hundredths of a millimeter, path accuracy below a tenth of a millimeter, and also having the outstanding cycle time performance. Also adding the options we already have for Foundry Plus, for example, for protection in, extra protection in harsh environments. So summing that up, the performance and the extra options, we can really support a broad market uh, here, ranging from automotive to foundry, construction, plastics, electronics, and logistics. So if you had to narrow it down, what would you say are the main benefits for customers? When we developed these uh, 
new product lines, we had two focuses. That was modularity and sustainability. So back to your question, the main benefits, I would say, is really enabling our customers to choose from a wide range of, of robots, together with the significantly reduced energy consumption we have in these new robots. So we really help our customers in the journey of being more resilient in their factories and being more competitive. Thank you, Matthias. I'm sure your insights have been very valuable for all customers across the sector. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Denisa. Now, it's time for me to head over to R&D Sustainability Manager, Emma Brindier, who can tell us a little bit more how ABB are supporting businesses with their sustainability ambitions. Hi, Emma, great to have you here. Hi, Janissa, thank you so much for having me. So tell us, how is ABB helping customers achieve their sustainability targets? Yeah, so a lot of customers are starting to set more sustainability targets, and now they're really wondering how they're going to achieve them. And one of them usually has to do with sustainable production. In other words, they need to reduce the energy consumption in their facilities. And our new large robot line, when paired with the Omnicore controller, actually reduces the energy consumption by 20% compared to its predecessor, the IRB 6700 with the, um, with the IRC5. So that is a quite significant reduction, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. And energy efficiency can sometimes be very challenging to measure, simply because it's so dependent on the application and the acceleration and the path. And what's great is that we've seen this 20% decrease along a variety of different tests, which really confirms ABB's commitment to helping our customers have sustainable productions. And this reduction is partially because we've been able to reduce the weight by 10% thanks to the lean design, but also because we're using power saving technology such as the variable brake voltage and the Omnicore controller. So tell us, how are these robots different than their predecessors? Well, this new robot line uh, has a much smaller environmental footprint, thanks partially to the reduced weight. And then, as Matthias mentioned earlier, these robots are also modular, which is great from a, a, a customer standpoint because it's easily customizable. But it's also good from an environmental standpoint as well because then it means that when something breaks, we can replace that module so, how does the end of life look like for these robots? Yeah, so of course you want to reuse the robots as much as possible. And since these robots are mainly attached by screws, it's pretty easy to take them apart um, in order to retrofit them and upgrade them. But when the robots eventually do reach the end of its life, they're pretty easy to recycle because they're 95% made up of metals, which is great from a circular economy perspective. Wow, thank you so much, Emma. It was lovely having you here. Thanks, Denise. <laughs> so lovely to see you. <laughs> and I'm very sure that our customers are also very excited to know that they can reach their sustainability targets with ABB Robotics. That's all we have time for today. Thanks to Matthias and Emma, and of course, everyone watching across LinkedIn. Please keep sending in your questions below as the ABB team will respond to you shortly. In the meantime, from today's demonstrations, it's clear that ABB will continue to expand its large robot family as part of the world's most comprehensive automation portfolio. This will be backed by new robotic releases in the next year alongside the continued development of the Omnicore controller. If you're eager to learn more, I invite you to visit ABB here at Automatica or reach out to one of our local ABB representatives across over 50 countries. We hope today's experience was valuable and please don't forget to visit the ABB link on your screen for more information. Thank you again for joining us. Have a great day.